So, few observers were willing to give Jesse Ventura much of a chance in his 1998 race for governor. Not at first, anyway. NBC's David Gregory caught up with Ventura one week before the election. Down, 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 Wednesday night down, football, down, and Jesse Ventura is getting down, all pumped up. Down, down, down. Bring it in. For the high school football team he helps coach, Meet the guy in front of you, let's do it! And the dawn till dusk campaign that even follows him here. All right, I'm on my way too. Anything but your average button-down politician, Ventura has turned an otherwise dull campaign into a spicy contest. If, if President Clinton had paid Monica Lewinsky, would that change anything? This is very much mental war. This is a chess game, and, and I like that. Ventura's past is far more physical. Jesse, the body, Ventura! As a professional wrestler, he was known as Jesse the Body Ventura. A former Navy SEAL who knew how to fight and perform. I call it ballet with violence. His tough guy talent took him all the way to Hollywood. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. These days, Ventura, who lives on a horse farm outside Minneapolis, is trying a different role. The casual, straight-talking, and often controversial Reform Party candidate. Here, during a series of radio interviews. Jesse Ventura is not going to legalize prostitution in any way, shape, or form. I am open-minded enough to look at other alternative methods of dealing with it, like the state of Nevada. Liberal on social issues, Ventura is a fiscal conservative, ranting against state government for blowing a budget surplus. What inspired me to run was the fact that while this was going on, my property taxes on my 32-acre farm rose an average of $460 a year for five consecutive years in a row. Ventura's other sore spot? His opponents, the Republican Norm Coleman and the Democrat Skip Humphrey, both professional politicians. We don't believe in career politicians. We believe this country was founded upon going from the private sector, serving, and when you're done serving, going back to what you used to do. He's a straightforward guy. He says what he wants, you know, and even if people don't like it, he says what he means. I think when they realize that, uh, you know, the stereotype of the big muscle-bound guy, the muscle-bound, muscle-head wrestler is not necessarily me. What began as a long-shot third-party spoiler campaign has turned into a serious threat. Ventura has been climbing steadily in the polls, now threatening to get as much as 20% of the vote here in Minnesota. And his supporters maintain momentum is on his side. Even if, for much of the campaign, money has been tight. While his opponents have run TV commercials, the Strap for Cash Ventura campaign has broadcast a campaign song on the radio. When those other guys were cashing government checks, he was in the Navy getting dirty and wet. St. Paul political reporter Pat Sweeney. It's somewhat sizzle as well as steak. Uh, he's good at it. Good at it, and out to prove there's life outside the wrestling ring. One week later, Ventura did prove it, and America took notice. Thank you for renewing. My American dream still lives. You know, it was back in 64 that a hero and an idol of mine named Muhammad Ali beat Sonny Liston. And I remember in those days you listened on the radio. And I remember my dad and my brother and I listening on the radio, and he did it. He won, he shocked the world, no one said he could do it. So did you! Then, well, then in later years, I think it was 1980, we sent a hockey team to the Olympics. A, bu a bunch of amateur kids who weren't given a chance, they had to face the Russians who were like professionals, Nobody gave them a chance, and what happened? They shocked the world. Well, now it's 1998, and the American dream lives on in Minnesota, because we shocked the world! 
I wanted to know whether we call you Governor Ventura or Governor the Body. Well, actually, Tom, I've changed that moniker. I'm no longer the body. I'm Jesse the Mind Ventura. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. And so uh, I don't make my living with my body anymore. I make it with my mind. Should conventional politicians fear you? Um, maybe they should wake up. I don't think they need to fear me because, uh, I, you know, I'm not a, a man to be feared, I don't think. I, I want to come in and do the best job I'm capable of doing. I want to continue to bring honor and dignity to the office of uh, governor of the state of Minnesota. But I think it's a wake-up call for them that they better quit their partisan party politicking and start looking after the people's business a little bit more. Are you going to become a career politician? Are you going to run for president? No, I don't think so. Yeah. I, I, uh, first of all, I, 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 one of my opponents, I criticized this opponent because he had just ran for mayor again for a second term and in less than a year started running for governor. Uh, I've made a four-year commitment to the state of Minnesota that I'm going to be the governor. Plus, I'll tell you why...